BioViva, Wikipedia article audio. BioViva is a Bainbridge Island, Washington based biotechnology company developing treatments to slow the aging process in humans. BioViva was founded in 2015. In early 2016, Sierra Sciences announced that they were working with BioViva to start a new medical tourism based venture, BioViva Fiji, on Fiji, and that they will be the first company to use gene therapy to treat biological aging in humans. CEO Liz Parrish explained the reason for setting up in Fiji the current regulatory authorities have an outdated model that does not accommodate these new technologies. In June 2016, government sources in Fiji denied knowledge of the venture. History Response BioViva released data gathered post-therapy in 2016, claiming that independent testing by Spectracell Laboratories had revealed Parrish's leukocyte telomere length had been extended from 6.71 kb to 7.33 kb, an amount they state is equivalent to a reversal of 20 years of telomere attrition. The company also released data suggesting an improvement in insulin sensitivity, an increase in muscle mass, a more favorable blood lipid profile and a reduction in C-reactive protein, a potent marker of inflammation. BioViva CEO Liz Parrish appeared on Norwegian television in the program Trygde Kontorit to discuss the use of gene and cell therapies to improve health in an aging population. Parrish has also appeared on Australian network ABC's Late Line discussing BioViva's development of therapies to treat biological aging. Parrish appeared at Wired Health 2017 in London to discuss BioViva's testing of gene therapies targeting hallmarks of the aging process. Appearing in Wired, Parrish stated, the company was built essentially to prove these therapies work or not. Remember BioViva is not a research organization. We are taking things like gene therapies and using them like technology. Parrish's treatment, often labeled as self-experimentation, is highly controversial. As the requirements to progress to human trials had not started, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration did not authorize Parrish's experiments. Parrish traveled to Colombia for the treatments. Some have criticized BioViva's release of data claiming an extension of Parrish's leukocyte telomeres following her therapy, suggesting that the aforementioned extension is within the error change for telomere measurements. Dr. Bradley Johnson, Associate Professor of Pathology and Lab Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania said, telomere length measurements typically have low precision, with variation in measurements of around 10%, which is in the range of the reported telomere lengthening apparently experienced by Elizabeth Parrish. Science Altering the genetic makeup of humans, or gene therapy, by lengthening telomeres has been described as dangerous, as the aging process is poorly understood. The telomere's function is to restrict the number of times a cell can divide to suppress cancer. Duncan Baird, a professor of cancer and genetics at Cardiff University's School of Medicine states, meddling with a fundamentally important tumor suppressive mechanism that has evolved in long-lived species like ours doesn't strike me as a particularly good idea. Timothy Caulfield professor in the Faculty of Law and the School of Public Health at the University of Alberta, characterized BioViva's work as pseudoscience and lacking scientific rigor. George M. Martin, professor of pathology at the University of Washington had agreed to be an advisor to the company but resigned upon hearing about Parrish's self-experiments. Antonio Regalado reporter for the MIT Technology Review states, 
the experiment seems likely to be remembered as either a new low in medical quackery or, perhaps, the unlikely start of an era in which naive people receive genetic modifications not just to treat disease, but to reverse aging. Parrish's decision to be patient zero and test the company's technology on herself in a personalized N equals 1 study has been both criticized and lauded. Dr. Lawrence Altman, author of Who Goes First? The story of self-experimentation in medicine has said, NS of 1 have had their value through history, and will. But you're not going to license a drug based on an N of 1. BioViva's technology is based on preclinical research of both the telomerase enzyme and myostatin inhibition. Telomerase gene therapy utilizing an adeno-associated virus undertaken by Maria Blasco's group at the Spanish National Cancer Research Center, has demonstrated several beneficial effects and an increase in median lifespan of up to 24% in mice. Discussing her team's research, Blasco has stated in discussion with the scientist, we demonstrated that AAV9 TERT gene therapy was sufficient to delay age-related pathologies and extend both median and maximum longevity in mice. Many pathologies were delayed, including cancer. Translating these results to human diseases may be of interest in the context of clinical trials approved by the corresponding regulatory agencies. Myostatin inhibition gene therapy, utilizing the gene folostatin, has been tested in a phase 1 half trial on 6 people, for Becker's muscular dystrophy. Four of the six patients showed improvements in walking ability following application of the gene therapy, with some muscle growth especially in response to the higher dosage.